I've always been interested in drawing and watercoloring from the time I was a kid. I used to collect creatures I would find in the creek and on the shore of lakes. And the combination of my interest in nature and my proclivity to drawing and later painting kind of led me to the kind of path I'm on as an artist. Artist Billy Hassel grew up with his feet in the soil and his sights set on his next creature to collect. But when he wasn't exploring the great outdoors, you could find him inside, surrounded by pencils and paintbrushes. Though Billy has always dreamed of turning his passion for painting into a profession, it wasn't until his first commission for the Nature Conservancy of Texas that his career took full bloom. I knew I wanted to be an artist. I knew I wanted to make art, but I never dreamed I would make a living doing that. My first real break was getting picked up by a gallery in Houston right out of college. And the next really big break was being commissioned by the Nature Conservancy of Texas to do a print back in the late 80s. I think from that point on, my work began to have more and more of a concentration on conservation. Before long, Billy's work had earned a reputation among those who love the land, including the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. So when our state park system prepared to turn 100, they commissioned his work for a commemorative book and art exhibit. He painted the birds of Dangerfield State Park and the towering cypress of Caddo Lake. And today, his latest subject is our newest state park, just an hour from his studio in Weatherford. So today we're going to visit Palo Pinto Mountain State Park, which uh, I'm very excited to visit since it's not yet open to the public. Well, it's a pretty spot. I feel very fortunate to be uh, getting to see it before the rest of the world gets to see it. I just love this part of Texas where the hill country kind of begins. With lake vistas and rugged canyons, Palo Pinto Mountains State Park is a sight to behold. The newest state park won't fully open until 2024, but Billy Hassel is capturing this moment the best way he knows how. This is his element, paintbrush in hand, surrounded by the outdoors, inspired by the natural places he says we all need. Yeah, my basic process is I go outdoors, I take a sketchbook, I do as good a sketch as I can in a relatively short amount of time and bring that back into my studio and develop that into a larger oil painting. I populate it with some of the wildlife that I've seen while I was out. It's a process of gathering information firsthand and then taking that and developing it into a finished product. Water is always challenging to me. It's uh, catching that reflection of light off the water. The thing I like about this time of the day is the light is good. I mean the shadows begin to define things and it's really it's my favorite time to be out. I think the world needs nature. I think the state parks serve that purpose. They provide the public with access to some beautiful places. And I think just for our mental stability, we need the outdoors. You know, it's fundamental. I do feel something like spirituality when I'm outside. And the world is fascinating if you pay attention. I mean, the natural world is full of mysterious things. 